Hello everyone, welcome again. In this Python for testers tutorial, we are going to learn about tuples in Python. So tuple is another a data type in Python which is very helpful and let me first quickly create a file and then I'll showcase or demo about the tuples in Python. So I'll say a tuple or simply Python tuples. Now what exactly are tuples? So tuples, let me copy and paste this line here and I'll demo what exactly the tuples are. So I've commented this out. So tuples are indexed. So tuple data type in Python are indexed. They allow duplicate values but cannot be modified. So tuples are immutable. So I'll explain mutable and immutable in detail in one of the further tutorials. But as of now, just understand that tuples when we say tuples are immutable, what it means is that tuples cannot be changed. So whenever you create an object in Python and it's of, you know, it's a tuple. So as, as we know that in Python, everything is an object. So when you create a tuple data type or use the tuple data type, that object cannot be modified after it is created. So that's what immutable means. So we'll understand why it says it's immutable and we'll see that you cannot actually modify tuple after you create it. Okay, so very simple way to define the tuple or um, declare the tuple in Python is simply I'll create a variable. So let's say I will say demo underscore tuple. And then in simple brackets, you can specify the values within the bracket. So comma separated values. So say for example, I want to have a tuple uh, of integers I can just provide comma separated values and that's one of my tuple okay um, then if I want to create another tuple which holds the string values say for example I want to hold string values within this particular tuple so I can say I can define the string values within this tuple so I can say the city names here so this is another tuple which holds the string values. Now I can define another tuple as we have we have seen about the other data types like lists and set. We can have another uh, tuple which holds the boolean data type, right? So I can have another tuple which holds boolean values, so true, false. So I can have a tuple which holds boolean or I can have a tuple which holds mix of these data types. So I can have boolean along with integer along with string and other values. So I can have the float as well, right? So I can have mix of values in the tuple as well. So tuple as other data types we have understood can hold different values so different data types within the tuple so integer string boolean or mix of these values now tuples are indexed so what this means is i can access the values of the tuple because they are indexed so the first index which is zero so index starts from zero so zero will hold the first value then one two three and that will go further on. So if I have to access the values of the tuple, I can simply use the index to get the values from the tuple. So for example, I want to get the value or the first value of tuple one. So I can simply say print demo tuple one and I can specify the index of the first value, right? So if I will print it, then I'll it will print Delhi for me in this particular case, right? So this is index. We have seen that now it will allow duplicate values as well. So in this particular tuple, I can simply say I want the same value again in this particular tuple. So I can have two values with uh, two um, entries with the same value. So Delhi and Delhi. So if I want to print the value at one, index it will print Delhi again right so this Delhi is at index 0 this is at 1 and then 2 3 4 and 5 right so this is what it means when we say tuples allow duplicate values 
that we can have duplicate values within the tuple. Now tuples cannot be modified because tuples are immutable. So once the tuple are instantiated, object is created, you cannot modify it, right? So now say for example, I want to append a value. Okay, so I want to say I want to append a value to this particular tuple one and I want to append say for example new value and I'll say Kolkata. So let's see what happens. If I run this, it will give me an attribute error tuple object has no attribute append, right? So what this means is that once the tuple object is created, you cannot modify it. So tuples are immutable. You cannot append, add or any do, do any other operation on tuple as we used to on list. So lists are mutable. So once we have the list defined, we can update the list, we can add the items, we can remove the items. But in the tuple, we cannot do that. So we cannot remove or we cannot pop the, the values, right? So if, say, for example, you want to pop certain or use the pop um, function with tuple. So we cannot do that right so there is no object no attribute pop so this means that tuples are immutable and you cannot change tuples after you define them the other important thing is to find so as we have understood about the list that you can find the length of the list so similarly we can use the length met method to find the length of the tuple so we can simply say dot length that's the method and then simply it will print out the length of the tuple right so for this particular demo tuple one one two three four five six so there are six values and it has printed the length of this particular tuple right so we can use this function to get the length of the tuple if you want to get the length of another tuple can try that right so practice understand defining the tuple with single data type different data types mix of data types and try to play around with tuples and see um, you know accessing the values based on the index try to insert duplicate values and then try to modify certain values to understand what immutable means in terms of tuples right now we have also seen that we can find the type of any data type in python with the type function so you can also check the type so i can say type and then i can find the type of the tuple right so it will print what type of data it is so you can see it has printed class tuple for demo tuple one right so these are some of the very common functions or methods that you'll be using and you need to learn basically and understand brief about tuple they are indexed they allow duplicate values and they cannot be modified so they are helpful in instances where you know that when you define the values once in a tuple you are not going to modify them in future in the program or in the automation script so you use tuple in that particular case all right so this is a brief introduction about tuple what exactly are tuples in the next tutorial i'll explain you about this about some of the key methods of tuples and working with tuples so that's all for this tutorial i hope it was helpful thank you very much for watching